Okay, today is the 30th of October and we're almost to California where we're going to be for our stay to be with Sue's daughter and mine and her grandson. Here's our rig. We're in spot 431, I believe. We uh, stayed at Catalina Spa two years ago, and in one of our videos, we did a little uh, blurb about this, so I was a little hesitant maybe to uh, do another blog on it. Here's site 434, probably one of the nicer elite spots in the whole park. Uh, but look at the amazing view a person has when they walk out of their rig in the morning like Sue and I did to take a little walk. I was kind of overcome uh, on the typical RV feeling you get to be really thankful uh, that you have the ability to do this and uh, the variety of waking up in different places like this. I mean, let's be frank, it wasn't more than two weeks ago we were waking up in a truck stop parking lot on the way here, and I, I guess that's just part of the fun of experiencing a place like this. I called the office to get some current pricing structure. Two years ago, we were here in a spot, and if I can find it when I'm walking around, I'll show you the spot that we had last time and it was only $750 for a month and this was in uh, February of 2017 and it included your electric which is really amazing. Right now the spot that we're in because we're Passport America members it was amazingly cheap I guess I don't want to say on camera I'll splash it on the screen. Um, I did not see that they were Passport America uh, affiliates, and when I saw that, after I had already booked it, I called them back and I said, hey, uh, I, I made a mistake, uh, forgot to mention that I'm Passport America. Figured that they would just take off 50% for the first day. They took 50% off the entire three day stay. That's amazing. You'll see here in the background, the trail is named uh, something with the word nickel in it. I'll put that on the screen. And it was a video where we did it kind of tongue in cheek where Sue was taking me for a walk because uh, she's constantly trying to have me uh, get some exercise. I appreciate that about her. It was uh, kind of a fun trip, uh, a little bit challenging for an old guy like me, kind of walking through some of the wash areas back here and we did it on a cooler day so it was very enjoyable. What you'll see off here to my left is one of two pools. This is kind of the family pool, you know, non-COVID times. There would be tons of people in there. You got to remember right now it's a little bit off season. So if I pan back here to, for instance, some of those uh, park bottles that are in the distance there those will eventually be rented last time we were here two years ago we were down in this area look at the beautiful mountains in the background and I guess this morning if I would have videotaped this whole thing it would have been a lot different video because I was like overcome with how beautiful it was and how thankful I was to be here and I still am but I've, I've calmed down a little bit uh, this room here off to my left, I'm sure is going to have limited use during COVID. When we were here two years ago, they actually had uh, some bands and some acts and it was a comedy routine and a bunch of different things there. Uh, it was really nice. I believe they also had some fish fries and breakfasts there. Uh, I'm starting to remember that now. Don't know how much of that they'll be doing this time. I'm going to go down this aisle because this is actually where we were two years ago. Uh, the YouTube channel RV Love has done on their website, they've done an excellent job reviewing this 
um, resort, a lot of pictures, a lot of information. Uh, I would uh, be lying if I didn't tell you that it's, it's uh, you know, good enough that you're going to make sure you want to see it. So uh, check that out, the Catalina Spa and RV Resort that they talk about on the RVLove.com website. All right, so I'm obviously not going to remember the exact number. I'm going to guess at maybe this one. Uh, we were maybe at 2.30. I can tell you that this place is nice enough and in a nice enough area close to Palm Springs. We're in desert hot springs right now. That this place uh, stands as one of the bargain places that we've stayed at in the three years that we've been traveling. What's shown ahead actually is kind of some area that's still owned by the RV park, but it's not developed. But if I was to walk around those trees to the right, back there, there's some maintenance uh, equipment that's staged, and you can actually take a walk back in there. A lot of people walk their dogs back there. When Sue and I were here two years ago, we walked back there and we actually found where the piping comes up we think, I hope we're not wrong, but we thought we came across the piping in the well where they get the water for the hot springs for the pool. The pool that we swam in last night had to be every bit of 90 degrees, and this is a big pool. And I'm not talking it's 90 degrees where the water comes in, I'm talking it's 90 degrees every square inch of that pool, doesn't matter what corner you're in. And it really felt good last night. Now their hot tub isn't open and that's usually even warmer. That first, first pool that I showed you where I said it was a family pool, that pool is cooler. So if you were looking to cool off, you would go there, but at night when you got old bones like me and you just want the therapeutics of it can't beat that pool. Uh, if I get a map of this place that would tell you which spaces are standard and which are elite and which are elite premium, that would be awesome. We'll have to see what the front desk ends up sending me. We did a video two years ago on when we went to look at these wind turbines. In my previous engineering life, I worked at a wind turbine place for a little over a year in their research engineering department. Sue and I drove out to one of those rambling mountains, somewhat in that middle depression there, and then turned around and were able to look back on that whole valley of wind turbines. This is the other end of this trail where you can walk your dogs that you'll come out. Uh, let's walk over to the entrance now. So when you come into this place, it's a little freaky because you come down this road that this truck just turned in off of. You're actually coming from the opposite direction that he had came from. You'd come from my right. But you're thinking you're running out of road and you're going to be on a dirt road and you're thinking, oh my God, what the heck did I do? But no, you end up turning into this place and, and everything is good. So look at that beautiful scenery that you have here. Unbelievable. Now it isn't too further down this road and it ends. This is the road you'll be coming in on. Certainly more than enough width to be able to drive into here. Here's the place you're at. We obviously like this place enough that even though we were here two years ago, we came back. The hot mineral pools are like nothing that we've experienced except when we were in Bozeman, Montana. I'd like to take a little segue here and show you a place that was eight miles west of Bozeman on US 141 in Bozeman, Montana that Sue and I stayed at. 
Uh, we actually found this hot springs to try to experience it and kind of miss the fact that there's this campground that's attached to it. So certainly if this uh, hot springs uh, tickles your fancy here, you might want to check in to actually stay in here. We stayed about, I don't know, 20 minutes away uh, and I would have probably preferred to stay here. If you go on Google, there's tons of pictures you can see on how this place is set up. It has a bunch of indoor pools that are different temperatures before you decide to graduate to go to the outside. Uh, I can show you that this picture here is pretty much as spectacular as it was when we were there on the evening that we experienced it. We had the same beautiful sunset in the background. We were actually quite surprised when these walls of flames lit up on each side of the flame with uh, gas lighting. Um, their website will show you all of the different things you can uh, do when you're there. There's actually a gym that you could uh, work out at if you want to do. Here's the um, uh, layout of this place. This stage in the middle here is actually right where my cursor is right now. And you have the kiddie pool that's 90 to 95 degrees. And then you have the middle pool, it's a little bit warmer, 98 to 102. And then you go all the way from 100 to 104 on the right hand pool. And back here is a much cooler one, 80 to 95 degrees. Uh, we really loved uh, the experience we had at this place. The performer that was playing here was just out of this world and very adult atmosphere at night. Uh, we have no idea what uh, it's like currently with the pandemic. But certainly when that is all over with, this place will be back in full swing. This here is uh, where you check in. And then once you check in, you get a gate code so you can open the gate here. One thing you gotta be careful of when you're in resorts, especially the nicer ones that have kind of a higher level of security. You have to watch out that you don't ever go the wrong way here stop you're going to have severe tire damage you don't want to put these babies through your 872 dollar uh dutch star tires over in this area here uh normally in the morning you've got uh shuffleboard and bean bag and i could have swore i saw that they had horseshoes there too now this is closed due to COVID, not the pool, but this recreation area here. They have yoga classes and uh, different exercise routines. We'll go in here. Normally, it's beautifully and, and very subtly and kind of romantically lit at night. And it's multicolored, so the colors change very slowly and subtly. And uh, like I said, very romantic. That water, I bet, is at least 100 degrees here. I'll try not to fall into the hot tub here. In the distance, this pool really looks cool on the website and in the gallery of the website. I can tell you that in real life, at night, it is just as spectacular. Right around where that number three is on the wall there, that's one of the entry pipes of the hot water, as well as over here. And I'm telling you, you'd get within four or five feet of that, and you would really, really feel the hot springs water. This is not heated mechanically with gas, oil, or electric. It's all thermal. And from what I understand it, this water is changed like multiple times per hour, uh, going in one end and coming out the other end. That's why it's so uh, crystal clear and clean. All right, let's walk through here. Now across the way here, this used to be literally a broken down mobile home trailer. 
and that was the main office where you would check in. And when we were here, they had a backhoe come in and wreck that thing. And they said, oh yeah, we're doing an improvement here. And you know, a lot of times you think, oh yeah, yeah, right. You know, and they're just gonna, you know, pour a bunch of gravel, it'll be an empty spot. Look at this. This here, a fire pit that you can control with these controls here to turn on. So it's kind of uh, user friendly. You can see here, this is all, I don't know if you have to reserve this, but if you're gonna have a party or a function here, you can use these uh, grills, but you could easily fit, uh, God, it has to be a hundred people in here, easy. You can see the level of uh, effort they put in on the decorations here. Really awesome. We don't have a dog, but I've seen uh, dog park areas. I can remember many a cold nights walking and shivering with my uh, winter jacket on, walking on the sidewalk when we were coming back to the pool. And we would go to the pool with the expectation of it being just a half hour dip before we would go to bed. Lo and behold, we'd be in there for three hours because we'd end up meeting people and it was really nice. Here's uh, the map that shows the resort. Let me see if I can uh, point to something here. Look at the camera here a little bit. Uh, we basically, when you drive into this place, you'll see that the entrance is over here where it says security gate. We're right here, obviously. When we were here last time, I believe, yeah, I think I had guessed about 227 or 228 or 229. Well, now they thought they were doing us a favor by putting us over in the nicer area, the more expensive area. We're in 431. You can see that 434 because of that triangle in front of it. That's probably one of the premier spots. It's all, not all that much longer of a walk. And, and let's face it, we could all use some more exercise, so I'm not complaining. Uh, let's see now, to get back to where I am, remember I have this disability here, uh, getting lost. I gotta make sure I go this way because I wanna go back. Okay, let's see. We would really be embarrassed to get lost on camera. And I'm honest enough that I wouldn't edit it out. It's really a special time when you listen to your wife, like I have to, and like I want to. And she talks me into getting up earlier in the morning and get out when it's cooler and take a walk and appreciate life. And that's what we did this morning. And that's pretty much what's prompting me doing this Catalina Spa and RV Resort review because although we're not visiting any places this time around, we're using this place as just kind of a recharge and a stop. I can tell you that when we were here for a month, there was tons of things to do. And here's my pro tip to you. If you're gonna to come to the Palm Springs area and you know about it, you have to get familiar with the Palm Springs tram uh, website and learn how many days ahead they allow you to buy tickets. And I think it's one of those things where you have to go online at midnight every night as you're advancing further and further, getting closer to the day that you actually want to go. That way you'll be able to get tickets. And you'll be able to get tickets for the time that you want. They only are loading the tram 25% capacity. We were not able to get tickets. This is the second time in two years plus that we were not able to get tickets because of my poor planning. Here's a pickleball court. Uh, over on the other side is a, another one. Very, very well used. Lots of tournaments when we were here when uh, the season for the snowbird comes up. I'm talking there had to be 20 or 30 teams here and then they play other resorts very competitive taken very serious so here's our spot it might look like we've got all this lush greenery in front of us we're actually one spot over we're hoping nobody grabs it because we're taking lots of pictures of the rig here and we're 
trying to get it at the angle so that nobody can figure out that it's not actually our spot. That's kind of our little secret. Uh, all of our subscribers and you, anybody else that looks at the pictures, we're not going to come clean to it. All right, I'm going to sign off. Sue uh, has tried to take a little bit of a uh, time lapse of this with the sunset. Really beautiful. We really like this resort. We think it's very much worth the money. Tons of things to do when you come to Palm Springs uh, with a little uh, research and effort. Okay, I'm gonna sign off, see what Sue's doing. Hopefully she's not wasting time in here. Hopefully she's working on some videos because I'm a tough boss. Let's check her out. All right, Sue, what are you doing? So, I'm still transferring all your photos. Oh, but you are working on YouTube, aren't you? I am. Okay. That's all, that's all the people that are watching this, that's all they care. Oh they don't God. care if you're having any fun. They just want to know, are you working on the I'm next? I'm having fun. <laughs> all I work on it. All right. All right. Say bye. I had a nice walk around. You'd be proud of me, honey. I walked another mile. Wow. Yeah. You saw some good things? Yeah. Did you get to the pool? Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of nice girls in there, and I, I asked them if I could have permission, and they said, yeah, so. Oh, my God. Let me check that. <laughs> Let me check it. All right, say bye.